Um, hello everybody. Today, we are going to be looking at an opening, um, called the Stafford Gambit. Um, this is a, this is a, a black opening. Now, um, this is how it starts. Um, it's E4. E5, right, um, this is a classic, already pretty normal stuff, sometimes I can go into the Roy Lopez, but this is the pet drops, and then usually after takes, you go pawn, pawn to d6, attack the knight, come back, or if they, because you can't take right away, because then queen e2, and after the knight moves, or then you have like a discovered sec and then you win the queen and if it goes blocked you still win the queen because the knight takes so you have to attack knight and then you take and then if here then the queen can block and then you can move the knight back um but we're going to be looking at a gambit so this is the stafford gambit you actually give up this pawn and it's that so this is how it goes um, so all of this is pretty common stuff, so obviously this is under attack, so there's a few lines, let's start with the most common one, d3, um, and then actually, you, um, you can, tr you can go, um, Bishop to c5, and you're actually threatening bishop f2, and knight takes, and then it's kind of a crazy line eventually, but it's actually evens out. Um, you sack two pawns, and obviously you can't take because the queen is hanging. Um, but there's a lot. But um, from here, oh, another um, one from here actually. A most common line, a most common trap is here, and this is actually pretty funny. You can go knight takes e5 because. Yeah, I, so, what's the I wonder if I can call this one. I wonder if I can make a name for this study, but it should be like called Oh No, My Queen because it's kind of like a joke. Um, And then if takes. Then you're just getting, and you say, oh no, my queen, but really, you're checkmating. Because after the king is forced to go here, this is actually checkmate. The king has, the king has, has like no squares whatsoever. So, <laughs> what's up? So, this is one line in the Stafford gambit. Now, let's look at a new one. Um, so, we can look at this again. It's the same thing, pretty. And then, this is another line, where you go e5, actually. Then you're supposed to go knight here. And there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens. Um, so first of all, there's a little funny trap after d3. Um, then you can go bishop to c5. And if you take on e4, and if, um, if you take on e4, obviously, bishop takes, um, if you take on e4, bishop takes f2. And then if king e2, obviously you can't take the bishop because you lose the queen. And then you go here, and then this is just lost. Um, and then other than that, then here's um, and here 
after um d3 here um here and let's say you just and obviously you're threatening f2 let's say you try uh, like a move like bishop to e3 block then you actually take you still can't take because of this and then that um so you have to take back and then you go queen to h4 sack and obviously if the king moves then it's checkmate so then you have to go g3 and but this is a common trap knight takes g3 and after pawn takes g3 you take the rook and this is winning because you get a pawn and um a rook for a knight and look at the king it's weak the queen is infiltrating you can even try to go here and try to attack and even this castle queenside even it doesn't even matter necessarily if it's king side or queen side um but this is another one so obviously this is one of like the trappiest trap openings um i'll think is there any other lines oh there's a lot of stuff I'm just add a new chapter but this um i think there's a few other lines um i think there's um oh i, I think i remember now yeah, yeah yeah but um there's this line Right here, just attacking f2. Or threatening knight to g5. This is just a common trap if you just move piece. And then this obviously isn't good looking. Um, especially after here. And your queen can come in. There's just a this is bad position. Um, so around here, um, I think another move is h3. Um, and things can get actually really crazy. Um, there's a lot of crazy lines, but I think this is, um, um, but if I can remember correctly, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, like, because now I'm just saying, if you want to go here, Oh, wait, whoops. Here? And then there? Then you can go here. Because there isn't no uh, check. So that's the whole reason. And you also just blocking the d4 square. It's a very important square. And it's being taken away. Right? So. So I think somewhere. I think um. here the move is bishop f2. And then the king is just under it. And then this is actually somehow equal. I forget how it works, but it's like something crazy like here. And then I forget how it goes, but there's some computer line. But obviously you sack two pawns, um, but you can just get your pieces into the attack. There's like some even castles line. And then you just take on e4 or something. And then you like develop. I, I mean to the computer it's equal but obviously this attack is crazy the king is in the middle of the board and also um just if he goes king to e1 then you can probably then you can go queen to h4 and then this is his checkmate and after knight takes e4 if king to g1 obviously you have a little draw if you ever want it but, uh, uh, but here, this is just really, this definitely just doesn't look that good. Um, it's a bad position. Um, not much to say about it. Um, but there is, this is just better, obviously. I'm guessing you can just go knight f2. Um, no, but then, hmm. Um, whatever, but I think there's probably, you always have a draw if you ever wanted it as black, right? Um, 
but some but around here um there's so many ideas you can't even take the night you probably can just go castle and just hope for the and then just keep playing i'm not really sure if this is everything but um it looks pretty okay actually and then after something like there then you can go here probably and then take the rook or even more and you always still have a just a perpetual if you ever want it um but there's definitely a lot of lines there's some ones that go pretty deep um um that's like there's a lot of um like h5 h4 sort of and then like the open h file and the king is on is castled but um i think that's all i'm gonna show for today um this is some of the stuff in the staff or gambit um i hope you enjoyed the opening um i actually learned this from um what from one of my friends and also watching eric rosen's video and um uh his the tr it's the trickiest trappiest op the trappiest trap opening ever um and there's just a he goes even over a lot more than i have than i went over um but uh because it's a it's a lot to remember um but thank you guys for watching um and uh see you next time wait some am sure i'm gonna do but adios peace out